LinkedIn's thought leadership ads aren't new. We already created a video about them. You can watch that one here. However, LinkedIn did decide to expand what thought leadership ads can do. Now you can use the format to promote your newsletters. So in this video, we will show you what newsletters are in LinkedIn ads, because a lot of advertisers still don't know they exist. And then we'll show you how to use them within your campaigns. In order to have your newsletter promoted, you have to have a newsletter created. And yes, companies or LinkedIn pages can create newsletters. However, the whole point of thought leader ads is to promote an individual. So one of your employees, this section I'm highlighting right here, someone who says they work for your company, has to have the newsletter set up. So I'm going to show you how to do it from an individual user standpoint. And to do that, the person needs to start writing an article. When we're in the individual article page, head on over to manage. And here we see we can create a newsletter. Notice the blue box at the bottom. Even though I'm just doing this for a demo, all of my connections and followers are going to be invited to subscribe. And then the newsletter will be featured on my profile. Each individual can have up to five newsletters. Use it as you want. So let me just fill in this information quick. Some simple details. There's the title. Choose how often you want to publish. We have bi-weekly videos. So if I was actually going to start using this, there's the cadence that makes sense. But notice you have other options. Short little description. And then I should add an image. Good start. Let's click done to create the newsletter. Here's an example of what it looks like. And if I want to, here's the three dot more menu here. If you don't want to have a newsletter anymore, here's where you can delete it. Next, really quick, I'm going to create an article. Let's add an image. I'm just going to type in something quick, but articles can actually do a lot. Look at the ways that it can be formatted. You can embed in certain things, add in images. I'll put a link in the video description that talks all about LinkedIn articles. Something here, just going to publish the article, paste it in something so I can publish it. Okay, the first article in our newsletter is published, but I probably want to promote it because this is a brand new newsletter. And yes, even though followers and connections are going to see a notification that they can subscribe, maybe I want to expand my reach, try to get as many subscribers early on as possible to eventually build some organic growth to the newsletter. So let's head on over to campaign manager. I'm already in a specific campaign group, but notice I am in the pay media pros ad account. I have to use this one because I created the newsletter with my individual account. And the only job I have listed is that I work for paid media pros. I work for this company page. So in order to use thought leader ads to promote my newsletter, I have to use this account unless I start attaching myself to other companies, which I'm not going to do. So this ad account must be linked to the company page that I say I work for. Makes sense. So let's go ahead, click create and start creating a new campaign. Thought leader ads work with two campaign objectives. It's either going to be brand awareness or engagement. When I look at engagement, trying to get more followers, to trying to get more subscribers. So I'm gonna choose this option. I'm okay with the group, whatever, click next. And then just go ahead, change the name. The objective is already set. You can start building your audience. Any of the targeting options that are available in all the other LinkedIn campaigns that you're running are available for thought leader ads. Update your location settings. You can choose any of the saved audiences that you may have already built. LinkedIn has their own built-in audiences. I'm not going to go over all the targeting options available on LinkedIn. You can check out the most up-to-date video we created about LinkedIn targeting options here. It's a little bit out of date, but for the most part, still good. In this case, I was doing client research. So it remembered all those old settings. Let's start over. Definitely don't want audience expansion. Going back up there, updated my location targeting options quick. And we're gonna keep it simple. Anyone who's in paid media. This is just a demo, so I really don't care. Of course, I already turned off audience expansion. Now let's look at the ad format. Thought leader ads can only use single image or video ad formats. If you did choose anything else besides single image and video, you would be stuck once you got to the actual ad creation part because you won't be able to find the options to promote a newsletter. So I'm going to stick with single image. Keep scrolling down. There's the parameters. Going to turn off the audience network. Set your budget. Set your ad schedule. Notice the optimization goal for the engagement campaign. So looking at engagement clicks, which I'm going to leave it, or impressions but engagement clicks make sense. Choose your bid strategy, manual bidding, still an option. It's typically what I started at. Then if I get a good amount of volume, I may test out maximum delivery. Choose your additional conversion tracking, and then I'm gonna click next, and yes, save. All right, let's start creating our ad. For a thought leader ad, we wanna look at browse existing content, and then we wanna find the individual. So then we have to look at LinkedIn members. 
and then we can search for my name or post URL. There I am. I am an employee. And there is the article I created for the newsletter. If it's the first time that you're trying to use an employee's content, the company needs to request approval. The employee will receive a notification and an email asking for permission to use this. So I'm going to click send. I can review the request here or go up to the request tab to make it quicker. You can copy the request link just by clicking on it. That's going to copy it and send it to the user. I did get an email, but I'm not going to pull up my inbox. They're going to get something like this. And then the employee will have the option to approve it. Notice there's an option here, turn on auto approval. If you confirm this, then your employer or the company page will never have to request approval again. You can always turn this feature off, of course. But if you know you're going to have a content calendar and a specific cadence on when you're going to promote certain newsletter articles, this will save you a lot of time and headaches so you don't have to wait for all the requests for approval. So it makes sense to leave it on, in my case, so I can use it for future demos. I'm going to turn it off. I may have to talk about auto approval again. So let's go back to the campaign. Let me refresh my page. Go back up to LinkedIn members to requests. It is approved. So now I can select this option and then add it to the campaign. But before I do, you get an understanding of what the ad looks like, at least from a single image perspective. Thought leader ads look like they're promoted from the individual. There's just this little tiny line here that says promoted and in partnership with whatever the company page name is. I wonder how many people actually see this. Because I know a lot of people hate to be promoted by brands. This looks much more organic. And there we see that's the title of the article, estimated read depending on the length of the article. And then there's just a short preview of the text that we added to the article. So I can add it to the campaign. Next, you can always browse existing content, add more articles if you want. I know LinkedIn recommends this. You don't have to have five ads per campaign, especially if it's something where you only have one new article a week and you just wanna swap it out every week, well then just promote the one article. See, I can't really go and edit it because it's pulling the article itself. It's pulling the image that we created in the article. So there's really not a lot of ad variants you can create unless you're making more articles. It all depends on what you want to promote within the campaign. But I'll click next, review everything. If all looks good, keep scrolling to the bottom and then I'll launch. All right, so now we can view the campaign. There is our specific one right here. And then after it goes live, you have all the typical metrics that you can look at to see how it's performing. Remember, your options are going to be brand awareness or engagement. So probably impressions, clicks, possibly conversions, depending on what you're promoting within your article. Could be valuable if it's a really high level conversion action. But if we go to columns, there is a specific option for engagement. Let me move over, still need to scroll over, kind of hate how they do this. We typically see more of the comment actions with an engagement campaign. But there's options for shares, page follows, clicks to profiles, overall engagement, and here we go, subscriptions. So when you are promoting your newsletter articles, you'll be able to see which one users are engaging with the most and which ones are actually leading to more subscribers. Now remember, I just went through one example. And in my example, I only targeted one member scale. So even if you only release one newsletter article every other week or once a month, think about are there different targeting options that you can test to create new campaigns to see which one will engage users better, which one will lead to more newsletter subscribers. So if you have employees that are blogging for your company, creating their own newsletters, promoting the great things your company is doing in the industry, at a trade show, maybe they're speaking at a webinar that your own company is putting on. Help them promote it. We see much better engagement when we promote posts coming from an individual than the company page. I'd always rather talk to a person over a company. That's my personal preference. But if you have any other questions on thought leader ads in general, just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.